Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the multiple access links and their protocols. So let's first understand the multiple access link. In this topic, we have discussed about the different network links. So we have two type of the network links. First one is a point to point link, which is consist a single sender at one side of the link and another is single receiver at other side of the link. So this is the like point to point peer to peer communication or point to point link. Second one is broadcast link. So in that we have multiple sending and receiving nodes and all nodes connected to the same network. We can say single network and it can send a broadcast channel. It received the message from one sender to the multiple receiver. So in this term broadcast is used here because any of the node transmit a frame or we can say a data packets the channel broadcast that frame each of the other node which is received the same packet in this broadcast links there are some problem if at the same time one node send a message to the other node it received but in case when two or more node send same time a same packets then it create a collision so it create a collision and based on that the channel broadcast channel wasted their utilization so in that the all frames are involved in this transmission and if collisions occur then the frame are lost so we can say the broadcast channel is wasted during this collision interval to solve this problem we have a solution so for that we need a coordination among in transition between different users. So we can say the solution is coordination of transmission job. So it is responsible by multiple access protocol. So let us understand first the multiple access protocol. So in multiple access protocol there are three type of protocols. The first one is channel partitioning protocol. In that it divide a channel means bandwidth channel into smaller piece like time slot. We can say frequency slot or code slot. And it allocate that piece to the particular node for the particular exclusive uses. So that node send their frame to the receiver. Example of channel partitioning protocol are TDMA, we can say time division multiple access, FDMA, frequency division multiple access, and third CDMA, code division multiple access. Let us understand second type of access protocol, random access protocol. It is like it's not divided a channel, in that channel is not divided and it allow collisions. So how it is useful it is useful to recover a frame from collision means example of this protocol are the aloha and slotted aloha which we discuss later another protocol csma csma cd csma ca these are useful to recover a data frame from collisions the third multiple access protocol is taking turns protocol means a node take a turn but node with more to send can take a longer turns means the node can take a time whenever it completing their transmitting frame to the receiver so example of this protocol polling and token passing let us understand the first multiple access protocol TDMA time division multiple access in that suppose the channel supports n node and transmission rate is r bit per seconds so the TDMA protocol divides the time into time frames and further it divide each time frame into n time slots based on the particular time frame each time slot is then assigned to the one of the end nodes. Let us take an example. See, in this figure, the 
LAN network of six nodes means six stations LAN connections. In that, num node number one, three, and four have a packets, and two, five, six slots are idle. So, whenever a node has a packet to send, it transmits the packet bits during its assigned time slot in revolving the TDM frame. So, typically, we can say the slot size are chosen so that a single packet can be transmitted during a slot time. So, this access protocol method is very attractive because it is eliminate the collision and perfectly good means each node get a particular dedicated transmission rate R of n bit per second during each time frame. But in case there is two drawback. The first drawback is a node is limited to an average rate means R of n bit per second is average even when it is only the node which send with packet to the sending. And second drawback is that the node must always wait for it turn in the transmission sequence. So even when it is only that node with a frame to send. So next we will discuss FDMA protocol. Now let us discuss another technique FDMA frequency division multiple access. In this technique the channel spectrums are divided into frequency band. Each station assign a fixed frequency band. In that frequency band, sender can send their frames to the receiver. So, unused transmission time in frequency band go like idle situations. See, in this example, one network having six stations means six node a network. In that one third and fourth have a packet and frequency band 256 are idle mode. See. This is frequency division multiple cable in that we have different frequency band and it send their frame to the receiver. So in FDMM it divide R bit channels into different frequency bandwidth of R by N and FDM share both the advantage and disadvantage of the TDMA like it avoid a collision divides a bandwidth fair among of n nodes and FDM also share a principal disadvantage of TDM means a node is limited to a bandwidth of R of n. So even when is node only with the packet to the send. Now let us discuss another technique is CDMA code division multiple access in that a CDMA assigns a different code to the each node while TDM and FDM use assign a time slot and frequency respectively. But in this case, it assign a different code to the each node. Each node then use it unique code to encode their database to the send. Now, if this code are chosen carefully, then CDMA networks have the wonderful property that different node can transmit simultaneously and there is no collision occur. So their respective receiver correctly receive a sender encoded data bits or we can say frame in spite of the interfering transmission by the other nodes. So no, no collision situations occur. Example, this is used in like military or widespread civilian use, particularly it is used in telephony, wireless network because CDMA used so tightly tied to the wireless channel. In next video, we will discuss about the pure aloha and slotted aloha protocol. Thank you.